Today, I'm going to attempt to make carbonated Mountain Dew ice cream. I've already got some Mountain Dew reducing on the stove here. Hopefully I can get it down to a more syrupy texture so I can mix it in with the ice cream. I have everything else I'll need right here. Okay, two cups of half and half. Two cups of heavy whipping cream. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. and a teaspoon of salt. There we go. Now I'm still waiting for the uh, I'm still waiting for the Mountain Dew to reduce so I'm gonna mix this and then we'll be right back and then we get to add the carbon later. Okay, I've just added the reduced Mountain Dew to the cream mixture. I'm getting it all mixed together here. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull out my, my carbon. This is how we're gonna carbonate it and chill it. Okay, I need to break this sucker up. I don't think I want to use that piece. Well, maybe I will. Okay, and this is what we're gonna to use to carbonate and ice cream, or ice the cream. Hence ice cream, so. I'm gonna put it in the mortar and pestle and, um, you don't want chunks. Because if you have chunks it'll take longer for them to melt and if they don't melt and you get them in your mouth it will cause severe damage and we don't want frostbite oh. get it all over the counter Now this is carbon dioxide that has been compressed until it's in a liquid state and frozen. Okay, now pour that into the uh, ice mixture or the cream mixture and we stir. It's gonna get really bubbly because all the carbon's coming out of it. It's um, dry ice doesn't melt; it sublimates. Sublimation is when something goes from a solid form directly into a gas. Got more dry ice. Adding it to the mixture. This one is chunkier, so I'll be careful when I eat it. <laughs> this is insane. I've done this before, not with Mountain Dew, and it wasn't as bubbly as this. So I figured out my problem. I was supposed to be using the larger chunks. I'll just have to fish them out before we actually eat ice cream. Um, I have tasted it. It's not the greatest flavor, but it tastes like Mountain Dew. I was hoping it would have a brighter green color, but I wanted to get it to a much thicker consistency than this. I am not happy with the color on this, so I'm going to add some green food coloring. 
and I'll probably add some yellow as well. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, so the food coloring worked great. Um, I didn't reduce enough Mountain Dew, and it tasted more like milk than Mountain Dew, so I've added some vanilla, now it tastes like vanilla ice cream with a hint of Mountain Dew, which is good, it's fine, but the color is perfect. The consistency isn't as thick as I'd like it to be, but I'm getting there. Just keep stirring until it gets as thick as I want it to be. Keep adding more ice. So, I'm going to do that in a bit. Okay. Let's see how this tastes. Pretty good. Tastes like vanilla ice cream. Here. Mm. No! No! <laughs> I don't want it! Okay, I need to break this sucker up. I don't think I want to use that piece. Well, maybe I will. 